Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. Now we're ready to install the switch and the power distribution block. So we're actually going to be able to distribute power to your whole robot. So we're getting really close to turning it on. So go ahead and find the switch in your kit. It's going to have uh, a lead coming off of it. Yep, exactly. So this switch, you'll see that it has a part that connects and disconnects. So in order to turn the robot off, you're going to connect that, uh, basically a headphone jack. So you're going to connect the switch to turn it off. And to turn it on, you're going to disconnect it. That seems a little counterintuitive, but it works really well because you could just take that off before battle, and there's no way that your opponent could turn your robot off. Because if you had a little toggle switch and there's maybe a big hit, hits that switch off, it's really not a fun way to lose. So this should hopefully work out really well for your robot. So the first thing we're going to do is just mechanically install the switch into your robot. So you'll notice there's a hole in the back of the robot. That's for that switch to go through. So yeah, exactly. That switch has a little uh, nut, a retaining nut. Uh, it just looks like a little ring that's threaded onto it. You're going to want to take that off. Exactly. And then you're going to put it through the frame and put that little retaining nut back on. Perfect. You could tighten it with your fingers just like you did. That should be tight enough. If you notice that you're battling and it's coming off more often than you'd like, you could take some pliers and really add some torque to it. But what you did should be fine for now. Um, you'll see a few connectors here. So this is where your battery is going to connect to. We're not ready to plug in the battery yet, but when we do, that's where it's going to go. And then this is where the battery power is going to go out of your switch and to the rest of your robot. Now, basically what your switch does is it interrupts the battery. So it has two wires in from the battery and two wires out from the battery. And then it basically interrupts them or lets the electricity flow through them. So really simple. So now for wiring the rest of the robot, we're basically going to connect all the red wires to red and all the black wires to black. You never want to connect a red wire to a black wire. That's going to be what we call a short circuit. And your battery is going to be really, really unhappy. Um, you've probably seen some battery fires on BattleBots. Uh, we use very energy dense batteries. Your robot is not likely to catch on fire. But if you do short circuit it by connecting red to black, it is very likely your batteries are going to heat up and you'll probably damage them. So we want to make sure red to red, black to black, no exceptions on this robot. So you'll see that we have two little power distribution blocks. You're going to see a red block and a black block. Uh, so we'll see, here, hand me one and I'll show you. One side has little round holes with kind of a little slot under it. It's little round holes. That's where we're going to put the wires into. So you're just going to align the wire and push it gently, and then we'll tug on it to make sure that it's secure. So go ahead and do that for each red wire in the red block and black wires in the black block. Perfect. Yeah, that's a good point too. The wires come uh, attached together. You can go ahead and split them apart to make it easier to do this. So right now you're going to have three wires coming out of your red power block. You're going to have the switch, which is also connected to the battery. And you're going to have the right speed controller and the left speed controller. And you'll notice there's still, I think, one more spot left on there. And we're going to use that for your weapon once we're ready to add that. So you can do the same thing for the black side. If you realize that you plugged in the wrong wire to the wrong block, so let's say you put a black wire on the red block, um, don't pull super hard to take it out. There's a little horizontal slot under there. Uh, you can ask an adult, uh, if you're a, a kiddo building this, to get uh, an X-Acto knife or any sharp object, and you're going to put it in that slot. And while you're pressing into that slot, you can pull the wire out super easy. But an X-Acto knife is sharp, and this step could be a little bit dangerous, so make sure to ask for help if you need it. All right, so now that you have that connected, we have the battery that's going to be connected to the switch, which is going to let the electricity flow into the red block and the black block, which is in turn going to put the electricity into your speed controllers and then it's going to go into your motor. So you're starting to see how the circuit is formed and how the electricity is going to flow. The next thing we're going to do is add a power light to your robot. This is an LED that shows us when the robot is powered on. This is important safety consideration because you always want to know when your robot is on. Maybe you just finished practice driving and you put it down, you forget to turn it off. This is a good reminder to turn it off. This will be more important once you're building more dangerous robots that might have weapons that could hurt somebody if they don't know the robot is on. 
This is also a requirement for most local tournaments you may attend. So if you're planning to go compete at a local tournament, this will meet that requirement as well. You'll see that there's a second hole that we haven't used yet next to your switch hole. Go ahead and put the LED light from inside your robot through that hole. This little LED cup is going to keep the light mounted to your frame. I'm going to slide it over the light. You can see the light coming through it. If yours doesn't slide it as easily as mine did, you could take your pliers and gently push those two little leads together to make it a little bit easier. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to gently pull this back through the frame so I can push that LED cup into the frame. Just going to push it with my fingers and it's in. This LED light is going to plug in right into our receiver, so we'll plug it in when we plug in our receiver. So the next step is going to be to connect the wires to our radio system.